Yo, what's up? Mark here from Wandering Souls with a new, a new video for you guys and this time it's a vinyl update and uh, I got five vinyls to show you guys and uh, yeah, this time it's different kind of genres so uh, <laughs> you can expect everything so um, um, yeah, let's have a start. The first one I have is from American Band with the name a riot and it's called the fire down under and it's an album from the 80s it's a heavy metal album uh, yeah pretty nice stuff um, this is the cover and this is the back with the old band pick and this album has some matte finish on it so that, that's pretty cool um also came with a couple of goodies first of all i want to mention this is a re-release so it's not an original and it's yeah a limited edition limited to 300 and i've got number as you guys see 232 and it has a poster with it from the artwork, which is pretty cool. Nice one to frame if you want to frame it. Let's put that back in. So, and it also has a lyric sheet, material, and some photos. Looking back, came back in. Yes, again. Um, yeah, these are the labels. This is the A side, and the B side look like almost the same. And it's a very nice Arctic white marbled vinyl. It looks amazing, if I, if you ask me. Very cool stuff. So yeah, this is a 2016 re-release and uh, yeah, I can say Metal Blade did a very good job, all good quality material and uh, yeah, very nice stuff. Yeah, what more can I say, if you know Riot and you're a heavy metal fan or if you don't know Riot, go check this album out, it's one of the best albums they have released. And um, Riot is still active nowadays, but uh, without uh, a guitar player Mark Rail, um, because the, the the man has passed away. So um, they are called now Riot V, I believe. So um, yeah, still releasing stuff, but um, the original uh, um, the material from the early '80s are the best, I think. So. If you really like heavy metal, go check it out. It has some nice tunes on it. Like Swords and Tequila is a good song. Uh, Run For Your Life is a pretty good song. Don't Bring Me Down. Yeah, pretty good album this is. And, um, yeah, I can really enjoy this. It's not the typical music I, uh, I show, but. It's some nice 80s heavy metal, which I got out right, fire down under. Then I have the newest album by Pain. And yeah, after he released last year, uh, uh, the album with Lindemann probably got inspired to do another Pain album. Um, this album, new album is called Coming Home. And this is the main guy of the band, Peter Tuckran, also uh, yeah, the guitar player and vocalist for the death metal band Hypocrisy. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff. Uh, this album is um, not as good as their older work, I think, but um, yeah, it, it still has some nice uh, songs about, like uh, Call Me, uh, Pain in the Ass, Black Knight, Satellite. 
Um, and it was another one, I think it was not so burn idiot, born idiot, I don't know for sure, but it was one song I really liked, so yeah, I almost forgot which one, but it's a gate fault, it looks like this, and this is the back. This elm is released by nuclear blast, so everyone can get this, I think. Um, there's a nice booklet with it, good quality. I really like this picture. Um, yeah. Looks good, amazing. I did a very good job. Very cool. Um, yeah. And the final is uh, labels are looking like this. And it's on black final, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, not the best work of pain, I think, but still very good. Um, yeah, if you don't know, pain, pain is an industrial metal band, uh, like I said, from Peter Tetron from Hippoc uh, Hypocrisy. And um, yeah, I like the earlier stuff also a, a bit more, but uh, this is not bad. I really enjoyed this album. Um, don't know if it will be my year list or if it is it will not very high because it got a plenty enough of good releases um yeah what would would have been uh, preferred to be higher so um but uh, yeah i still i really enjoyed it and um yeah coming home by pain let's put it back in Then I have got the new album by Legion, and it's called Proponents of the Sentience, and it looks like this, a very cool cover. This is the back, released by Metal Blade uh, this year, and it's a gatefold. The lyrics and stuff are inside. also limited I believe <laughs> let's have a look I also uh, cut the cover off so because uh, yeah I know no. it's limited to 200 pieces and I got number 43 and funny fact and this album has some guest vocals by Bjorn Speed Street who's uh, the singer of solo work and a guitar solo by Benjamin Ellis so yeah it's pretty cool it's a double vinyl so you guys i just show you one um because yeah they look the same labels look like this nothing special and the vinyl itself aubergine marbled colored uh vinyl looks very cool amazing stuff so yeah if you don't know this band this is um, a melodic death metal band with a lot of progressive elements and they get better with each album so if you want to try something new in the melodic death world just try this band it won't disappoint you, it's a very good album, Elysium, the proponent for the sentience, good stuff. Yeah, sorry I'm back, um, had to uh, cut
cut it in two pieces this video because I got interrupted so sorry for that uh, but yeah, I still continue with uh, the vinyls um, the next one is from a band from Finland and I was really impressed about their 2030 film which was this album and I'm talking about a Sonmyun as, as you guys could, uh, can see and um, they have released a new album and what can I say it's fucking amazing this one is a really one of coming high in my year list um, last year I had that with the new Amorphis and this year I have it with the new Insomnium man what a good fucking great album I'm talking about The Winter's Gate by Insomnium really good album and it's fucking amazing one big long song of 40 minutes divided in 7 chapters on one, e, one vinyl the vinyl of the song is cut up in side A and side B, it continues. It's fucking amazing, it's epic, it's uh, adventurous, it's uh, aggressive. It got all stuff in, stuff in it, it's a great long story written by bass player I believe. And um, very good stuff, also like the gold embossments on the cover uh, yeah, Winter's Gate is the album called released by Essential Media this is the back I hope I can get the light off a bit because it's charming mm. the final but uh, yeah it's a one fucking amazing album this is the inside of the gatefold with the lyrics and then the band uh, it comes with a lot of goodies because I got a limited edition. Um, first up is, of course, the Centimedia bullcrap, which was always in the finals. And then there is a cool booklet. And with, yeah, it's actually with the whole story about uh, the album explaining things uh, about the, yeah, the whole story actually is you can, with the book you can understand the lyrics a bit more I think nice to read it's in uh, multiple languages it's in, um, in English of course in Finnish and in, in Deutsch also in, in German Very cool stuff. It's an amazing album, guys. I really should listen to this. And these are the labels. And the vinyl itself comes on a black vinyl. was not all. I also believe it will at least in different colors. Uh, yeah. It should also be the CD in here somewhere. Yeah, it's also released with a CD, so you also got the album in CD. Very nice. I can listen to it in the car. I'm driving a long place or far away or something. It also came with a cool t-shirt which I was wearing in the first part of the video is this one other side is just white but amazing shirt fits really the album this album is really really highly recommended if you like uh, melodic death metal but then a lot of way different um, very nice stuff and um, 
yeah, I'm speechless. Every time I listen to this album, it's amazing to rap. Very cool. Uh, yeah, really like the diversity in the long song, and uh, yeah, it's keep me, it keeps me on listening and listening. So, if you like melodic death metal, one you must hear. One of the albums of the year, I think, is really a candidate for me. So, and I have one last final for you guys. And this one is actually I ordered this with bolt.com. Bolt.com. That's selling uh, mail order site for different kinds, not only music, also games, movies, uh, audio, uh, computer stuff, a lot of stuff, different stuff they got. So I was really surprised. To, to find this one and uh, yeah and also I really enjoy this I'm talking about the, the 2030 album by Oranzi Pazuzu and if you don't know this band this is a black metal band from Finland and also mixes some uh, psychedelic rock in the sound which really sounds very different than standard black metal and it's Keep, that's keeping this album very interesting. So yeah, really glad to discover, have discovered this. Um, I once saw their name mentioned in a video by Kenyon Bickle, I believe. So yeah, um, I thought this, I saw this on ball.com, so I thought I'd buy it. If Kenyon likes it, probably I will like it too. Um, Released by Swart Records uh, with uh, smell by 20 buck spin. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the album, but this is the album name. So then you know that. And the band's called Aranzi Pazuzu, which is spelled like. Hope you guys can read it and if you want to focus. That's the album name. I really like the, the, the logo too, it's like a bird, yeah, it's pretty interesting, and uh, yeah, it's a nice cover, it's a gatefold, the lyrics and stuff, at least uh, parts of lyrics, and also came with some goodies, first one there is a download card, Then there is a nice holster with it. It has a nice matte finish on it. Very, pretty cool. And then there are different color variants, and this uh, type of uh, variant was called Halloween. So I was really pretty curious. So. I thought I'm gonna try that one, and it looks amazing. So you guys, this is the variant. Some really nice splatter on the outside, and some yeah, swirly black, blue, uh, blue and orange very cool logos. That's just plain simple. But it's an amazing album, I really enjoy this, and um, if you like black metal with different kinds of twists, it's not straight forward stuff, it's pretty yeah, experimental, how do you say that, uh, different kinds of uh, rhythms, and um, some groove on some parts, on some uh, slower parts, it's, it's uh, no, this album is nowhere fast, it's not, not, never straightforward, and let's make it something different than the standard black metal. So yeah, if you don't know this band, go check it out if you want to um, try something new. Waranzi Pazuzu with Falonielu. Um, yeah. Correct me if I'm pronouncing it bad, uh, not good, sorry. Um, yeah. 
my finish is not that very good so um, most of the ly lyrics are in Finnish too so uh, you can already see on the, uh, of the song titles Fino Verso Tia Tempeli Verani Sulu yeah a lot of stuff but uh, it's way different and uh, yeah, pretty cool so if you don't know this band go check this out um, yeah, that were the finals and um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, saw something new uh, to discover so I will put links in the description so you guys can check it out um, what else can I say yeah that's it for now I think um, the next video will be a pretty short one, I got a tape in so I'm gonna uh, record a video for that and we got some CDs and uh, this new vinyl on the way so uh, still not get ready, getting rid of me so I, I've got a lot of uh, things to show you guys anyway so um, yeah thank you for watching liking subscribing and um, see you guys next video ciao